Hi, my name is Shanina Diana. I am a wellness artist, mental health advocate, and youth arts educator. On March 6, 2021, I'll be presenting my 10th annual Embryo Art Exhibition at the Icebox Project Space in Philadelphia. This will be the 10th annual installment. Um, it's a culmination of the last 10 years that the Embryo Exhibition Series has presented itself. It is a mental health awareness platform. So through the visual and performing arts, I'm sharing my personal journey, um, wellness journey, uh, through paintings, portraits, performance, improv, dance, movements, um, sounds. I aspire to help bring resolution to the mystery and the healing power of um, the visual and performing arts and explore how that power holds true in marginalized communities, right? Like where is the evidence and spaces created for people of color, persons with behavioral health and emotional disabilities and those who identify with the LGBTQ plus community? Like what, what does that look like in those spaces? back as I can remember art has been that voice that braveness that courage that audacity that uh, integrity that passion that will that fight um, that strength that I did not know that resilience that I didn't know that I possessed um, from a very for a very long time um, and it, it really just helped give me a voice, it helped give me language, it helped give me vocabulary. Uh, if, you know, growing up in the black and brown community, we it wasn't for me personally, and I know it is uh, for a lot of, of my peers, we didn't grow up with um, that language, that vocabulary, like mental health and trauma and depression and therapy. Um, I just didn't grow up with those terms. I didn't know they were accessible or available uh, to me, or an option rather. Uh, so art was, um, innately this 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 opportunity for me to um, find a safe place and so documenting my personal evolution um, and self-realizations through these works has helped deepen um, communal understanding of what it actually looks and feels like with living um, with a mental illness what embryo helps to do is make that information more palatable and less intimidating to receive during an art exhibition as opposed to say um, visiting a medical facility like you're, you're educated on mental wellness um, emotional behavioral wellness um, through an art exhibition you receive these resources uh, provided in partnership with local wellness communities it's it's this really beautiful unique opportunity to um, to learn and and to to grow and to heal my artworks are informed by personal experiences through multiple medical diagnoses childhood trauma um, hospitalization therapy treatments and also self-care practices um, you know the exploration of holistic measures for cognitive behavioral and psychological healing like what does that look like through the work that's something that I've been exploring since I started, you know, my professional art practice and the embryo exhibition series. So I've established this really beautiful relationship with the Department of Behavioral Health and Intellectual Disability Services in Philadelphia. Um, they've been so gracious now, I think going on their fourth year, fourth consecutive year out of the 10 years that I've been doing the embryo exhibition series. Um, providing with the sponsorship, providing um, free mental health screenings during the exhibition, which is a really beautiful and unique opportunity for uh, you know the people from my community, um, because a lot of times you know because the stigma is so heavy and it's so real, um, they won't they won't make it to a facility, they won't make it to a doctor, um, you know they won't make it to these these places that give them um, pause. 
uh, you know, where the inhibitions start flowing in and it, it, it tr triggers them and it stops them from going to get the help that they need. But in this exhibition, it's a safe place. It's an art exhibition. It's, it's a creative space. Um, I'm exposed, you know, and sharing my journey and it just creates this really beautiful, unique opportunity for them to uh, be exposed and have access to these mental health screenings, which has become a really valuable, invaluable resource uh, for them because with that, they don't, they don't get diagnosed. They don't, but they learn where they stand mentally and then uh, DBHIDS is so gracious enough to provide resources so if they choose, um, they can seek further help outside of the exhibition walls. I've been vegan now for the last going on four years um, and you know with that it's been um, influencing um, other aspects of my life so from the clothes that I wear I'm very conscious about you know the fabrics that I put on my body and also with my art practice so um, natural earth paints I gave them a try I've been searching and you know going on social media and seeking hey there's are there any eco-friendly acrylics out there do they exist um, and then I was referred to uh, natural earth paints and they have these really beautiful earth pigments um, that you can mix with any medium of your choice to perform like watercolor gouache um, uh, oils um, in my case I, because i have more experience with acrylic i'm going to be using the natural earth paints and have them uh, work as acrylics but um this is all in an effort to become uh, more sustainable with my creative practice outside of just being you know vegan eating the clothing is translating as well into my art practice so i'm really excited i'm actually very ambitious with <laughs> presenting this 10th annual installment installment which is such a milestone exhibition um, with this whole new medium um, but i'm going for it so i'm looking forward to see how it turns out <laughs> So Embryo 10, um, the Continuous Now exhibition will be held at the um, Icebox Project space in Philadelphia in the Crane Arts building if anybody's familiar. It's literally just a cube and open and high ceilings and it's got all the things um, that I think will help uh, present a really strong exhibition. I'm always looking for a white wall, I'm always looking for high ceilings, um, hardwood floors or concrete. Um, just open and clean and, and ready for for me to you know have at it. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Embryo Ten will fill the space and how the performance, the improv, you know, how all of it will take up space and how it will translate um, as a hybrid um, exhibition. very diligently on creating a safe um, experience due to COVID. Uh, so um, yeah, there will be a virtual experience and I'm working really hard to curate a, an intimate experience because I know, uh, you know, if, if you've experienced an embryo exhibition, um, it's very intimate, it's very hands-on, it's very, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so how do I do that in a virtual space? I'm still exploring that, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it manifests um, with my team. And um, there will still be a time ticketed opportunity for a physical um, admission for the exhibition as well. So that's why, you know, I'm calling it a hybrid presentation, um, you know, social distancing, wear a mask, that kind of thing. Um, but I, I still wanted that option to be available to the people who support Embryo and, you know, see fit to see it in person. My name is Shanina Diana. I will be presenting the 10th Annual Embryo Art Exhibition uh, entitled The Continuous Now, Embryo X, The Continuous Now, um, on March 6th, 2021 at the Icebox Project Space in Philadelphia. 
um, yeah I just you know I look forward to sharing this with everyone it's a milestone for me I'm um, celebrating a decade it's wild that we're even here <laughs> um, but yeah I, I look forward to sharing it with you all so I'll see you there